Greetings, cadavers. Today I am going to present to you a few cartoon comedy horror spoofs. Well, at least the first one is. It's a short one, but let's get into it. I'm gonna turn my sister into a zombie. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Rikar, what are you doing here? You interrupted my karaoke time. I'm gonna turn you into a zombie. Huh? Whatever. Alaka pesto. <laughs> Not that kind of a zombie. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Right, car. I can't believe you turned your sister into a zombie. G R R R R R R R R R R. You are so grounded, grounded, grounded. Ah, mom. Uh, yeah, we have a small problem. Sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Um, allow me to pick your brain. Um, yeah, what would you do if there was a zombie apocalypse? Would you lock yourself in a shed? Would you climb the roof of the tallest building? How would you survive? Tune in now for Rise of the Dead, Chapter One. <laughs> Whoa, Mama! Did you see that? I'm sprouting some major mahogany right now. Doctor Rogers, that is highly inappropriate. That girl's only 19 years old. You're old enough to be her father. How old are you anyway? I'm 60 years old as of last month. Check that. Grandfather, you're a pervert. Come on, Dr. McTooley, don't get all bent out of shape. It's Dr. McDonough. Now get it right. Whatever, you're a leprechaun anyway. And I'd say you're Santa Claus, but you lost 60 pounds. And I feel really fit, too. I could probably chase that girl down and ask for her phone number. What the heck is wrong with you? Uh, <clears throat> I just downed half a bottle of scotch. You're not Santa Claus, you're Kenny Rogers. Got no one to hold them. Got no one to fold them. Got no one to. Yeah, I'm. I'm feeling kind of funny right now. Don't look at me like that, O'Tooley. It's McDonough. And Dr. Rogers, you're supposed to be a professional. For Pete's sakes, you're a surgeon and you're. You're drinking scotch on the job when you're performing surgery on someone? Well, let me tell you something there, Dr. McSlappy Pants. I'm... I'm... I like scotch. Come on, McDonough, don't be so uptight. Hey, you actually got my name right that time. Well, duh, McManus. I'm not a f complete moron, you know. Well, at least you didn't call me McTooley that time. Dang Skippy there, McMidgets. You're really messed up there, sir.
Bill? What is it? McShamus? I was gonna say, I, I was surprised there's no elevator music playing in the background, but what the hell is that? Holy crap. Bill, uh, 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 you, you ever see those movies where those dead people, like, uh, like to devour live people? Yes, Dave. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I think I know what we gotta do here. <laughs> Run for it, McTooley! I think I'll be safe in here, O'Tooley. Gosh, Bill. Miss Sanchez doesn't look so good. She seems kinda pale there, Dave. Does she look a little blue to you? You know, uh, Bill, I thought she was dead, but it seems she's kinda stirring now. Uh, McTooley, I, I think we should run for it. I just pooped myself. Toodaloo! Hey, McTully. You look like you need a spanking! Bill, now's not the time to be joking around here. We're about to be eaten alive. Bill, I'm scared. What are we gonna do? Get a hold of yourself, McTully. What is that smell? Ugh! Sorry, Dr. Rogers. Uh, I need to change my shorts. Alright, let's go to the men's room and you can go in there and change your drawers. Ah, oh, I feel much better now, Bill. That's good, Dave. Now let's get the heck out of here. Looks like people left here in a hurry. No kidding. A lot of the food is untouched. Maybe if we move these tables in front of the door, we can be safe in here for a while. Uh, Bill? We've already been compromised. Miss Sanchez is here. Officer, you want to tell us what's going on here? Yeah, Kojak. Where did those things come from? It's Kowalski. Is the older doctor intoxicated? Alright, Billy Corgan. What's it matter? We're all probably gonna die here anyway. You gonna arrest me, Sinead? Be quiet, you fools. They will hear us. Look, I know we're all a little freaked out here. 
Yeah, I think we should listen to Dr. Evil's mini-me on this one. Let's pipe down. How can you fools laugh at a time like this? Seriously, guys. What do you want to know? Aren't you listening, Daniel Gonzali? We want to know where these things came from. We don't know the answer to that yet. We will have to consult with the military first. Yes, that is unless all your yammering got shut Satan. Yes, is this the colonel of the local military chapter? I bet he's talking to Colonel Sanders. Shoot him. You're Colonel Sanders. Yes, this is Officer Kowalski of the local police. I am with a fellow officer and three civilians in the hospital. Well of course we are going to stay here. Yes. Well, Colonel, I am trying to learn the source of this disaster or disturbance or whatever it is. What do you mean it's classified? We lost seven police officers and twelve hospital staffers, not to mention countless civilians out there. I lost track after 34. We have a right to know what caused all of this, especially if our lives are on the line. Madonna, I had no idea it was that bad. I think we're all gonna die here, Bill. Stop tiptoeing around it, Colonel. I want answers. Don't you hang up on me, Colonel. There you have it, boys and girls. Some horror comedy animation done by Fletch Lady Marmoset. Accompanied by my crappy introductions and lame skits. Unfortunately, Rise of the Dead never had a chapter 2 to this point. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And always remember... Don't forget to wear clean underwear. Good day to you.